KKL JNF Field and Forest Centre at Ness Harim in the Judean Hills was filled with the happy sounds of 250 Australian boys and girls from the MASA program. The groups came from a variety of organisations and youth movements, each involved in different programs all over Israel. These young people undertook long journeys in order to mark Anzac Day with Karen Kayemet Li Israel, Jewish National Fund. This is not well known, but Anzac Day has a special significance in Israel because 730 Australian and New Zealand soldiers fell in the battle to conquer the Negev from the Turks during the First World War. I think it's just pretty cool to see how many kids are actually here from Australia that I don't even know who are here doing the same thing I am, enjoying their gap year. We just finished high school and we're all here doing the same thing, like, I guess, experiencing Israel like in an intense way. The youngsters were divided into two main groups, which began the day on different routes and came together later at Nez Harim, where they participated in challenging physical activities. You're already alone, that's perfect. Both groups visited Anzac Heritage Sites and KKL JNF projects created with the help of friends of JNF Australia. The first group began their day in the Negev with a visit to the Shah HaNegev School by the Gaza border. They continued on to Nahal Asaf, where the Anzac Trail begins. KKL JNF is restoring the Anzac Trail with the help of its friends from Australia and New Zealand. The second group began their day in Tel Aviv at the Anzac Memorial at the Yarkon River Estuary, one of the four points where the Anzac Corps crossed the river before proceeding to Beersheva. The group's next stop was the Kfar Saba Biofilter, an innovative water project that harvests and recycles urban runoff water. If runoff water, I don't know if you can see the uh, laser, goes down the drain, instead of going into the sewage system, it goes into a, a biological purification system, then sifts down into the aquifer from, uh, uh, from where it could be managed. After visiting this unique water project, participants continued on to a moving tree planting experience at KKL JNF's planting centre in Meginim Forest next to Kibbutz Nachshon. You are about to, uh, to do a great mitzvah, a great deed for the land of Israel and also for yourselves as Jews, as human beings, coming to this spot and planting a tree. Most important for you in order for the tree planting to succeed is to put the tree in the ground, in the hole. Look at me, please, and see that the whole root bulb is uh, in the ground. I am so excited to be living the ideology of Torah v'avodah. <laughs> Planting trees in Eretz Israel. It's very, very exciting. At Nis Harim, KKL JNF guides led the youngsters in different types of challenging sports and educational activities on the topic of empowering young leadership. The youth learned about discipline, working as a team, getting to know open spaces, mutual respect, and more. One of the aim of the program today is to try to uh, enforce their leadership and to uh, they understand that they can lead and they can guide and to make a difference and uh, to know about JNF and the connection of the JNF and the Anzac trial in Israel and the contribution of JNF to uh, the state of Israel in uh, different forms in uh, the Negev and in different places. After two very intense days, which were organised by the KKL JNF Youth and Education Department, the youth participated in the memorial ceremony for Anzac soldiers on Haaretz Ophim in Jerusalem. Makes me extremely proud to be an Australian and to represent being an Australian here in Israel on Anzac Day. As an Australian, I guess, just connecting to the Anzac spirit and this idea of nationalism and that if it weren't for the Anzacs, firstly, like. Um, they were pivotal in taking Be'er Sheva for the British Mandate, um, which eventually gave Israel to us. And then also just uh, protecting Australia. And as an Australian, somebody who lives very comfortably and safely in my country, I have to be grateful to them. 
these two days with KKL JNF gave the youth the opportunity to connect with both their Australian and Zionist heritage, an experience that they'll be taking back home to Australia with them. For now, we're just looking at like learning to be ready to go back and lead the, the movement and teach kids about Zionism and Judaism and prepare them for the same process that we're going through now, I guess. I think it's amazing to visit the memorial this morning as well. It was incredible. I'm always proud to be an Australian. Ha, ha, ha.